Hello everyone, my name is Spencer Shields and tonight I look forward to presenting to you on Microsoft Expression Web 4. I'm going to be talking about <coughs> excuse me I'm going to be talking about uh, some simpler tasks tonight, nothing too intense. So, uh, depending on what kind of browser you're using, I believe the installations may vary. Uh, some configuration settings differences uh, are occur within using Safari, Google Chrome, Internet Explorer, uh, Mozilla, Firefox, etc. I downloaded using Google Chrome, everything went smooth. It was a free download online. Uh, fairly simple uh, just download click check next uh, and here we go it's up and running so depending on what kind of browser you're using uh, your results may vary right right here I've got open an untitled HTML document I open simply by going to file new HTML uh, and here we go there's a variety of things you can do just by standing here. Uh, if you want to look at just the design mode uh, without any code there or just be typing into code, it completely is up to you. So that's kind of a nice part of using um, Expression Web 4. We're just going to type some text here, uh, something pretty simple just for demonstration purposes and we can easily change that to whatever our liking is and uh, that's all right at the touch of our, our fingertips and it's uh, fairly fairly simple uh, we can also change the text and the uh, size of that text so it's pretty 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 neat uh, and simple uh, easy for any beginning beginning user to use here another neat feature of using Microsoft Expression Web 4 are uh, just some of the panels and tools of of the software itself so if I want to just open up some of these here um, you know or and hide them away or close them all together it's fairly straightforward and simple uh, all I have to do to keep it open is just click on the table the panel itself uh, to hide it away I can just click click that little uh, drop pin there and to open more panels I can go up here uh, so if I want the toolbox over there he can be chilling uh, maybe the snippets we can open that and uh, see what's going on there and hide it away pretty easily by just clicking that that pin so if I can hover over here I, I'll see what I've got going on you can see those if I want to keep it open I can just click on it there uh, click on it I have it open uh, hide her back you know so the functionality is is fairly simple um, we're going to open the folders list here. So if I was going to start creating a document to put online, I'd want to have a folder. So the first thing you may uh, may want to do is create a folder on your desktop. So I've got this local folder here. Um, I was using that earlier, so I'm just going to delete the contents. Uh, we're, uh, and then create a new folder we're just gonna call that local folder some people will refer to that as local root folder I believe it's entirely up to you uh, it's just what you refer it as the name I don't believe is completely uh, specific um, so to open that up here we're gonna open up a new um, we're gonna go to the site menu and create a new site uh, and when we get here you're gonna want to have the general checked and empty site and then we're gonna browse and we're gonna browse right to that local folder and point it there 
and that's where the, all the data will be stored. Uh, go ahead and click OK and we've created this folder and this is where we can now, we can now create uh, and store all of our HTML files. So this is some text. Uh, if I save that there we can open it up and go from there. So, Well I hope you all learned something from watching this video. It was a pleasure presenting and I hope everyone has a great evening and a great Christmas break. So thanks.